This is what we came home to today. So I guess it was a hit. These are the Pup Joy treats, and apparently we didn't put them high enough on the shelf for this one. So, I guess it was a hit. You ate all the treats! I don't know why I had to start that video like this is Doubtfire. 2018 was the year of BarkBox. We got our first BarkBox and we got it pretty much every month. We loved it so much. We kept on getting it even after the first six month package that we had, basically up until we had to move here. Hi, your breath. But I thought, you know, like we live in a new house and 2019 is a new year. So why not try something different? BarkBox isn't the only subscription box out there for dogs. So I thought maybe let's try whatever else is out there. This year, I decided we would try Pup Joy. Oh, did, did you smell things already? There seems to be some like black seed-like things coming out of this box, so I'm a little nervous. I hope they're not like dead ants. Ew, ew. But let's get started. Are you ready? You missed unboxing videos. You get all the treats, because you were good. Were you good? So we're gonna open the box. All right, so we've got some white paper and a nice sticker that has a wagging tail on it. Oh, and there's a little wagging tail in the box too. That's very cute. With some hearts and some like dog houses. Oh, there's definitely some like stuff coming out of this box. All right, so I'm just gonna open this real quick. All right, so no frills paper, just regular paper. What is in here? All right, so the first thing we got, <laughs> this is weird. Oh, like everything is covered in some something. Lord, what is that? We got this weird looking warthog toy. Oh my god, Phoenix. Oh my god. It looks like a cow? A hog? It's got like tusks. I guess it's a warthog. It's got like a squirrel beaver body. That is so creepy. It's like a beaver's body with the tail and then like a warthog's face. It's got squeakers. And it's soft, yes, it's soft. There's just stuff coming out of here and I don't know what it is. I hope it's not like dirt. Um, but there's only one plush toy in there, which is actually kind of a good thing because uh, I think Phoenix doesn't destroy them really that much. So we just end up piling up toys. I can't figure out what's causing all this like brown dust in the box. And it's just like coming out of the box. Here it is, can you see it? Can you see the brown dust? It's everywhere in there. It's very weird. Anyway, turns out it's this gigantic ear. <laughs> a bully dusted cow ear. Oh, it was dusted with bully. So what does it have in it? Oh, it doesn't have an ingredient list, but it just says high protein, low fat, supervised pet while rewarding. It's shrink wrapped in this thing, but the, there's like a hole in the shrink. So all the little bully dustings are <laughs> coming out of it. The next thing we have is the Pup Joy Grain-Free Fruit and Vegetables Dog Treats. No soy, salt, corn, sugar, or wheat. That's cute. Look at how cute that is. Phoenix, do you want this? All right, so what's in here? Pea flour, palm fruit oil, flax seed, sweet potato, apple pumice, spinach, kale. And then this other one, so this is the third and last treat bag in the box. It's called Blueberry Treasure Recipe, made with upcycled ingredients. Oh no! There's a hole in this one too! I don't know how I feel about that. Look at that. Just a big old hole. I'm worried. I mean, like, are you, you're not supposed to, like, give your dogs things that are already opened, right? Should I give it to her? How did you get a hole in you? So it turns out this is what's been causing all of the, like, brown dust. Since I want to play it safe, I'm just gonna give Phoenix the treat that was not open. But that's kind of like disappointing, that sucks. Dang. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I'm really upsetting you right now. Here. Okay, we're gonna open this one. The green free fruits and vegetables. Ooh, it smells fruity. You know what? Oh my God, is it good? We can give you another one. It smells like, what do you smell like? Like bananas, that's what it smells like, bananas. Are you going bananas? Ah! I wanna give her this, but it just seems so ginormous. 
but you know what, I'll give it to her anyway. I'm not as worried about this one being opened because it's like dry, so I guess that's just like my rationalization for giving it to her, but I don't know about this. I don't think I'm gonna give her this one that was opened, only because I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't know, what do you guys think? You ready? That was our Pup Joy subscription box. Kind of sad there's only one toy in here, but I know that Phoenix doesn't destroy toys, so it kind of makes sense for her. We got this subscription for three months. We were gonna see how it was. This is our first one. I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about it, only because the bag of one of the treats was open, so I'm like not feeling too great about that, but we'll see. Maybe I'll write Pup Joy and say something about that to them. The process of ordering these online was super easy. We just went to their website and it actually ask you questions about like what your dog likes. Like, do they like plush toys? Do they like to chew? What kind of treats do they like? I thought that was nice and personalized. There isn't really a theme, it seems here. I haven't, oh, these are supposed to be weird. They're called Topsy Turvies. They're head turning toy for your dog that are wacky combinations that create hilarious little buddies. So it's like a warthog and a beaver. I don't know about you, Phoenix, but this is creeping me out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you wanna see my last video, you can go here. I got hair in my mouth. If you want to see my vlog channel, you can go down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys next week. Bye.